Inside police headquarters in St. Petersburg, Karen Weisskopf never wanted to be here, never wanted our cameras surrounding her. Or reporter speaking with her. And here we are. Here we are. It's still surreal. It's been 21 days since you lost your husband to COVID-19. Correct. How are you doing? I'm taking it, um, I think, hour by hour and day by day. Her husband, Officer Michael Weisskopf, died August 27th after a grueling 28-day battle with the coronavirus. The nurse was waiting. And then she put her arms out and told me, you know, um, I'm so sorry. We worked on him for two hours. Mike didn't make it. And I was like, no, 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 this can't be. This can't be. Just one day earlier, doctors had told his wife he was showing signs of improvement. They were even planning to remove him from the critical care ICU where he had been hooked up to IVs and intubated. My purpose is to never, ever see anyone go through what he went through, the pain. There wasn't one day, one hour, one moment that he didn't suffer. Mike's name now added to the growing list of men and women in uniform who died from COVID and were unvaccinated when they got infected. It did not have to happen. More than 650 officers nationwide have now succumbed to coronavirus, according to the Fraternal Order of Police, which tracks reported deaths. Florida among the states having lost the most officers, second only to Texas. But despite the death count that continues, the industry remains reluctant to agree to mandated vaccines. It's their body. I can't tell them what to do. To date, a small handful of Florida cities and counties have approved vaccine mandates, though most law enforcement aren't included because unions won't support it. We don't like being uh, mandated or and pushed into anything like that. And this week, the governor announced he would fine local government who did mandate shots. You're out there dealing with the public and looking what we're going through. It's approved. Why would we not? But this officer's widow wants the public to know what she witnessed and lost leaves a much heftier price. She'll spend the rest of her life trying to overcome. I, I said, is there any way I can go to sleep and just die of a broken heart? Because it'll be a lot easier. So far this year, 80 officers have died, 71 of them due to COVID-19. In St. Petersburg, Katie Legrone, Florida 24 Network.